Hey, I see that you've clicked the video. Awesome. You are interested in making money through ChatGPT, right? This video will give you a guidance in terms of how non-coders can use ChatGPT and create online solutions and sell it to clients. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. <music> Do you know that there are companies that only extract data or scrape data from the internet and make tons of money? I'll give you an example. There are multiple FMCG companies, marketing companies that are listed on the stock market. Now for these companies, it's very important to have reviews and ratings in their system so that they can judge how their products are performing online. They cannot go out there and scrape websites because it's illegal for companies that are publicly listed. What do they do? They reach out to companies that can scrape data legally for them and they pay money for it. This is not only existing for FMCG companies, but there are small companies, there are medium scale companies that require online data, which is where it's good to know web scraping, right? But now you would tell me, hey, Bhavesh, I'm not a coder. How do I kind of create such web scraping solutions? Well, here is where ChatGPT will kind of help you create the entire solution. Like literally the entire web scraping solution for free. At this point of time, ChatGPT is free. I don't know what happens in the coming months, but right now it's free. So I'll show you the solution that I've created. I've not written a single line of code. And all you require is you have to find a way to run Python in your machine. That's about it. Excited? Let me now show you how this exactly happens. Let's go. Flipkart is a very big retailer in India. Say for example, I want to scrape the product name, the MRP, that is the maximum retail price and the selling price of Google Pixel 6a from Flipkart's website. So technically this is my use case and let's see how ChatGPT can help me. Now I open the ChatGPT window and I type create a Python script to extract product name, MRP and selling price from the following website. The website is basically that of Google Pixel 6a on flipkart.com. Magic is about to happen. ChatGPT has started generating code. It started from the import statements. It specified the URL. It's now making a get call. There is beautiful soup. It's also given the tags in terms of the class names for product name, MRP and selling price. And finally, it's printing all the output. Everything right from start to end has been generated by ChatGPT. I take the entire code that has been generated by ChatGPT and I paste it into a Jupyter notebook. And all I do next is I run the cell. Oh, I get an error message. What will now happen to our million dollar plan? How will we create the solution if ChatGPT gives us the wrong response? Well, don't panic so quickly. All you require is some bit of common sense. ChatGPT has been trained till 2021. So all the tags that it could have discovered for Flipkart till 2021 is what it has used. For the recent tags, all you have to do is follow a very simple process. Highlight the piece on the website that you want to extract right click and press inspect in the inspect section it will show you span class equal to b underscore something something well that b underscore something is the tag that will help you extract the product name so let's copy that let me now comment out mrp and selling price and their corresponding print statements and let us replace the existing tag with the new tag that we have discovered and check if it works or not. Amazing, it works. Let's carry out the same activity for MRP, that is maximum retail price and the selling price. We are able to extract the MRP information accurately. Let's move on to the selling price information now. We are also able to successfully extract the selling price. Now we have the entire data extraction pipeline set up where we are able to extract the product name, the MRP as well as the selling price. But customers are tough to deal with. 
the entire data extraction activity is not always a one-time activity. It is something that is a recurring requirement wherein organizations wish to monitor their price on e-commerce websites at different time intervals, which is where can we develop a script using ChatGPT that will execute this piece of code every 30 seconds? Let's find out. So I'm asking ChatGPT to write me a Python script that executes a function every 30 seconds. ChatGPT in no time has given me a Python script that executes every 30 seconds. So this is something that I'll utilize in order to trigger the data extraction process going forward. I take the code that has been generated by ChatGPT to execute a function every 30 seconds. I take the initial part of the code which is used to extract data from Flipkart.com. I make some minor modifications and I'm ready to execute the entire code base. So let's start. The code has executed once. Let's wait for 30 seconds to check if the code is working perfectly or not. The code indeed is working perfectly. Isn't this amazing? What did I just do? I had a problem statement in mind. I used ChatGPT to create a Python code and the entire solution is something that I can use without writing or without knowing a single line of code. This is how amazing ChatGPT is. I think, I hope, I pray that you found this video helpful. If you do like the content that I post on my channel, it would be super, super motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos that I create on data science and machine learning. I have just one small request to all of you. It would be super, super, super helpful if you can share this video across with your friends and family so that it can reach out to multiple people who want to kind of break the initial barrier of using ChatGPT. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you.